Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to revisit uh, video 27, that is the EDC51 keypad. After I posted the video um, a while ago, I discovered a bug in my code. I noticed that uh, on several occasions, the wrong key is displayed on the seven segment uh, display. It took me a while, but I managed to locate the bug and here are my findings. Okay, so we are back. We're looking at now the uh, original code that I posted um, earlier. So <clears throat> let's look at um, the code. I'm going to focus only the scanning of the rows uh, because that's where the bug is. So starting with scan row 3, there we need to clear uh, P0.3. Scan row 2, we clear P0.2. Scan row 1, uh, we need to clear P0.1. Scan row 0, we clear P0.0. By the time we get to this point here, you'll find that uh, rows 3, 2, 1, and 0 uh, respectively would have all logic 0. And if we proceed now to scan the column, any of these keys in this column would put P0.4 to logic 0. Now, uh, the scanning of the uh, column is uh, being carried out by these subroutines. ID code 0, ID code 1, ID code 2, ID code 3. Let's take a look at these subroutines. I've uh, uh, put it on the next slide. Okay, so this is the uh, scan column um, subroutine. And so this ID code 0, ID code uh, 1, ID code 2 and ID code 3. I have color coded them here for easy uh, explanation. So this uh, part here where it says G and B P0.4, this would be responsible for sending the uh, code for key 3 to the display. Here, this P0, uh, G and B P0.4 will send. Uh, uh, the code for key 6 to the display here this particular instruction here p j and b p0.4 will send the code for key 9 to the display and j and b p0.4 here will be sending the code for the dash to the display ideally only one of this should be able to send the uh, code to the display Okay, so now let's take a look at the solution to the uh, uh, problem. And the solution is actually pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, let's take uh, uh, scanning row 3 as a starting point. Uh, to scan row 3, we clear P0.3. Then we proceed to scan the column call the subroutine to scan the column. Having finished scanning the column, we set P0.3. Here we set it to 0, here we set it to 1, uh, before we scan uh, row 2. So we take a look at row, uh, scanning row 2 now, we clear P0.2, scan the column, then set P0.2, uh, that means put it back to logic 1 uh, before we scan row 1 and uh, we set uh, P0.1 back to 1 before we scan row 0. Um, so it, let's take a look at this illustration here. So I, what I've done is I clear P0.3 because I'm scanning row 3 and then I scan the column. Having scanned the column, I then set this back to a 1. And um, at, that means that any one time, only one of this is a 0. 
Uh, let's take a look at the demonstration. Okay, we're back in the EDSIM 51. I've uploaded the uh, revised uh, code here. So let me just uh, assemble it. No errors. Let's run this. So it's running. Uh, remember this uh, code uh, will stop every time we press a key. Uh, okay, so let's test it out. Let's press, uh, let's choose uh, key 5 here. Yeah, so we got uh, key number 5. Uh, we pause it. Reset it. Run it again. Let's choose something uh, different. Yeah, key 7 here. Yep, we've got a 7. Pause it. Reset it. Run it again. Uh, let's choose 1 this time. Yep, we have a 1. Pause it. Reset. Uh, we run it. And let's hit the uh, hash key. Remember the hash and the uh, asterisk will only give a dash uh, because uh, it's not possible to have an asterisk or a, uh, a hash key on the seventh segment. So it seems to be working. So let's pause it, reset. Uh, let's do uh, let's do a run. And this time we go for three. Okay, so we got three. Pause it, uh, reset it, uh, run it. Let's do one more. And uh, we, this time we hit zero. Yep. And now the uh, code seems to be running uh, fairly smoothly. So that's all for the demonstration. Okay, that's it for this video. Um, I have included the link to the revised code in the description uh, below this video. So thank you for watching and uh, see you in next video. Bye.